I didn't even know that it was possible to have a bird electrocuted through like plastic coated wires. I mean, I'd heard stories for years, the California condor and they have to change the distance between the wires for its wingspan, but I'd never really seen any direct evidence of it. But oh, oh, oh a couple nights ago, the mouse and I, you know, he's a, he's a year and a half old now. He was on the, he's in the backpack, right? So we're walking along and suddenly we see a whole flock of geese, which, oh goodness, there are a whole bunch of geese out here. Well, we see that flock of geese flying, just going right overhead, and we stopped and looked at them. I'm following them along, looking the other direction, and kind of like, out of the corner of my eye, boom! I see this bright blue spark, hear the the okay, that's a bad sound. And then I heard a thump on the other bank, because this is where it happened. Geese were coming from the ball field, flew over this building, and then they rode right through here between those two trees and suddenly the big zap. And then, boom, thump on the other side of the creek. So these are the wires and here, that's the building it flew toward us. And then there's the, don't look, avert your eyes, don't look down there. But that's where the goose is. And that big old zap of the electricity took out at least five houses down here. The, uh, at least a big section of this neighborhood went out. A lot of the neighbors came out, came out and took a look and we were all looking for the goose and eventually found it. I saw direct evidence of the reason why you really have to be careful about these wires and uh, th this electricity can actually kill. So please, when you're working on the electricity, when you're doing something in the house, make sure that you do turn off that electricity. It is relatively low voltage, but it can do bad things to you. All right.